All right, boys and girls, second video here, looking at chapter 10, what's it like in space? Now, please don't forget to pay attention, boys and girls, to the bold words, all right? Bold words, remember those are ones you've been seeing this whole entire unit here. Pay attention to them. Pay attention to how often they're being used, okay? That is gonna help you when you're going to ask your answer your questions. I guarantee you, you're gonna see bunches of these words inside your questions that are being asked of you. Since Apollo 11, many more astronauts have traveled in space. Scientists have learned that there are many differences between Earth and space. One of the biggest differences has to do with gravity. Remember that gravity is a force of attraction that pulls things toward one another. The force of gravity on Earth is pretty strong. Even the best jumpers can only jump a few feet off the ground. Try it and see. You can see our caption for our picture here. Want to jump high? You will have to fight against gravity. <clears throat> See, here's the picture. This astronaut is inside a spaceship in space where the force of gravity is less. Okay, you can see like he's floating. Remember that on the moon, astronauts Aldrin and Armstrong were easily able to jump up high. They didn't come down quickly either. Instead, they seemed to float down slowly. That was because the force of gravity on the moon is not as strong as on Earth. The moon is not as big as Earth. So the force of gravity is not as strong on the moon. If you think that is cool, wait until you read what happens out in space, away from the moon or planets. Out in space, astronauts do not feel the effects of gravity. They and their spaceship are moving freely in space. Since the astronaut and spaceship are moving freely together, the astronauts look and feel as if they are floating. Up in space, Lots of things are different. You can do a flip and not worry about whether you will make it all the way around before you come down. So here's another picture. When you are free of the effects of gravity, it is easier to do flips and cartwheels. So here they are inside their spaceship. Because gravity is less, they're able to kind of flop their body around. It's not as hard. Gravity is not keeping them down as much. Eating in, is different in space too. I'll bet when you eat lunch at school, your food stays where you put it. If you set it on a table, it stays there until you pick it up. The force of gravity holds it down. But if you are up in space, you and your food will be moving freely together. If you let go of your food, it might drift away. So look at right here. Notice that food is not in their hands. Look, no hands. The, these astronauts' lunches appear to be floating. How pretty cool would that be? There are other differences in space besides less gravity. Do you remember that the astronauts on the moon had to carry tanks of air for breathing? Another way outer space is different than from Earth is that there is no air or oxygen at all in outer space. Look again at the image on page 69 of the astronauts inside the spaceship. So let's take a peek. Page 69. So I'm going to look at my page numbers as I go. So here we are. So we're taking a peek. Okay. We're back here. The astronauts are not carrying tanks of air. That's because oxygen is being pumped inside the spaceship. Since there is no air in space, you also do not hear sounds in outer space. It is also very cold in space. The astronauts must train many months before going into space so they know what to expect. Do you think you would like to go into space someday? You should think about that. Okay, I should take a quick peek at the picture first. Okay. In our caption, remember our caption is our text feature that describes a photo. This is what Earth looks like from the moon. Can you name some ways that being in space is different from being on Earth? Okay, so boys and girls, if you went back to, so this is 71, if you go back to page 70, it told you bunches of information of how being on space and being on Earth is different. So you're comparing and contrasting those two.
All right. So boys and girls, that is the end of this chapter. I want you to make sure after you have listened to both videos, you're going into your um, your forms now to fill out the questions that I put up for you. Um, we're paying attention to comparing and contrasting not only chapters 9 and 10 that I both read for you, but also comparing and contrasting different ways that being in space is the same or different than being on Earth, okay? Being here where we are, okay? Um, any questions, please remember, just like I said before, all teachers are going to be on Zoom at all hours of our school day, boys and girls. Anytime you need to hop on, we're going to put our Zoom codes up. Make sure you take a peek at Dojo so you can make sure you know what code to be using. Hop right on. A teacher can help you. Have a good day.